The universe is on your side and it will always be on your side, but sometimes it's not going to feel that way because there's something that you're not wanting to resolve within yourself. There's some lesson that you're not wanting to face. And what I've learned about the universe is that it's going to keep bringing you the same old lesson until you finally face that lesson. And if you don't face it here and now, then you're going to store it in some cloud and you're telling the universe, I'm not strong enough right now. I'm still afraid. So bring that to me in, in the future. What do you think is happening between now and that next time? Absolutely nothing. You're just wasting time. You're creating what I like to call a layover. You can either be on a direct flight nonstop or you can be, you, you can have a layover. So in other words, what I'm trying to say metaphorically is that you're, you're creating a delay in what you're ultimately wanting to manifest because you're allowing your fear to overshadow you. You're allowing your fear to cripple you. So a perfect example is you have a friend that you love and every time you open up to them, they chime in and give you unsolicited advice and you don't say anything. You get off the phone frustrated because you didn't ask for what you needed. You were expecting your friend to read your mind and that's not fair. The lesson for you is to use your throat and to speak up. That's the lesson because when you speak up, you're choosing to consciously create the experience that you want to have. If I don't speak up, then I'm unconscious. I don't think that my needs are important. I don't think that I matter. I don't think that my feelings are valid. That's unconscious on my part. So if I'm showing up in an unconscious way, I'm letting you dictate how I feel because I'm allowing that. You have to be the one that consciously creates your life and your experiences by speaking up, by getting vulnerable, by doing whatever you need to do to open up your heart and get honest. You have to be straightforward with people. I was speaking to somebody today and they said to me, this is so confusing. My ex keeps texting me and I've blocked them everywhere. It's like, obviously you haven't because if they found a way to text you, then you still haven't committed to what you want. Did you break up with them because you wanted to? Or did you break up with them because you were playing a game? And that's the issue with people. They're not getting honest with themselves about what they truly want. So if you broke up with that person because you genuinely don't wanna be with them anymore, then you can simply respond and say, hey, I'd really appreciate if you stop texting me now. I want to invest in a relationship and I want to focus on my life. And if they don't respect that boundary, then you block them. But you don't just block someone and leave them in the dark. You have to explain what's on your heart. What's going on with you? You have to explain how you feel. People are not going to read your mind because you're the one that's here to explain to them who you are and what you're creating. We complicate things as humans. You can just simplify it all. But I find that most people suffer because they're resisting facing the lesson. They're resisting setting that boundary with a friend. If you have a friend that's giving you unsolicited advice, all you have to say to them is, hey, babe, I love you. I love you. When you give me advice, it makes me feel like you don't believe that I'm intelligent, that you don't believe that I know what I'm doing. I'm including you in my experience. I'm inviting you into my experience. So all I ask is that you listen to me. That's all. That's all I want from you. But if you don't ask for what you want, they don't know. They don't know. You have to be the one that creates your life. Okay? If you broke up with someone, did you really mean it or not? If you meant it, then there's no need to be confused. You're confused because you haven't committed to your choice or you were playing a game with yourself. It's really simple. It's just that humans love drama. And why do we have drama? Because of our trauma. <laughs> like trauma, drama, baby, trauma, drama. So if you want to heal that trauma, if you want to overcome your fears, you have to speak up. 
Remember, your mouth is a portal. It's an opening. So when you speak and you share your feelings, your feelings are your light. Your feelings are your essence. When you let that light out, when you shine your light through this opening called the mouth, then you shine your light on what's actually true. You find out if people love you. You find out if people support you. You find out if people respect you. So use your mouth. Don't be afraid to speak up. Don't be afraid. If you don't know how to use your mouth, you're not creating anything. You're allowing everything to be created through you. And you're subject to it. Right? Because you're not conscious. Your life will only get better. You should write this down. <laughs> your life will only get better through conscious choice. Your life only gets worse when you're unconscious because you're refusing to learn the lesson. And if you're refusing to learn the lesson, the universe is gonna keep bringing you that same old lesson. It's a rinse and repeat cycle. It's really like you're storing it in the cloud and you're saying, I'm not ready. Well, what do you think happens when you're not ready? You can only be ready here and now. There's no such thing as getting ready next time, no. Be your authentic self here and now, on the spot. On the spot. If you can't be yourself on the spot, what does that mean? It means that you're creating a delay. You're thinking something, but you're not saying it. You're feeling something, but you're not saying it. So you've just created a delay. Where do you think resentment comes from? Delay. <laughs> Where do you think animosity comes from? Delay. Where do you think a grudge comes from? Delay. It's you not being authentically yourself with the person in front of you now. If you want to align your life on every level, then every part of you has to be present at this level, in this moment. If I'm only bringing half of me to the party, where does the other half go? It's not here, so it's gonna get stored and sent into some future opportunity to do it again. Do you see what I'm trying to say? If you're not bringing all of you to the party, if you're not bringing your truth into this room, then where's the rest of it? Yeah, it's gonna get transferred into another moment where hopefully then you'll have the courage to speak up. But now you're just creating all these delays as it relates to what you wanna manifest for your life. You wanna manifest love, get vulnerable now. You wanna manifest real friendships, get, get honest now. Find out the truth. Your mouth is a portal. You beam your light into the room and you find out what was hidden from you. You find out what you were unwilling to see. But I understand it. You have to pluck up the courage to finally speak up. I understand why most people don't do that because they're afraid to be judged. You're afraid to find out if the guy really likes you. You're afraid to find out if he's ready to commit to you. You're afraid to find out if she's your friend, if you tell her to stop giving you unsolicited advice. I don't like when people do that to me because they make me feel like they're underestimating my intelligence. I do life my way. And if there's something I have to explore, I'm gonna explore it. And if I'm sharing that with you, I'm including you in that conversation. I don't have to, I really don't. I'm choosing to include you in that conversation because I love you. But if you're gonna judge me for my choices, why did I share that with you, right? But if you give me advice, I'm gonna say to you, I love you, just please don't do that. I'm already at that level, okay? So we're gonna be adults and we're gonna have a nice exchange. A lot of people can't handle that. A lot of people don't like honesty. If they can't handle your level of honesty, if they're easily threatened by it, they're not ready for you. Not because you're better than them, because you're more mature than them. You understand how it works. You understand what it means to be empathetic, right? Everyone's feelings are valid. If you're going through something, I'm showing up for your feelings. Not because I think you're doing something wrong. I'm showing up for you because that's what friends do. It's your feelings that matter. It's not the thing you're talking about, it's the feelings that matter, right? So if I'm sharing with you how I feel and then you make me feel bad about that, 
then you're not supportive of my feelings. You're disregarding the validity of what I'm experiencing, which is not a friend, which tells me that you don't have the capacity emotionally and maturely to be in relationship with me. So it's important for you to create consciously. If you don't speak up, if you don't set your boundaries, people will keep doing that to you because the universe is allowing that because the universe wants you to finally speak up. The universe wants you to step into your power. Step into your power. What life are you creating? Don't just be a follower. Don't wait for people to decide if they're committing to you. What do you want? Get clear on that. There's no need to be confused. And get radically honest with yourself. Because a lot of people are still playing games. They're pretending, I don't need you anymore. And then a week later, you're like, did I make a mistake? Get honest, get vulnerable. The only person you're playing a game with is yourself. No one else. No one's judging you but you. Now, some people might judge you if you are you, <laughs> but then you know they're not your people. But you're the one that's judging yourself. That's why you have those people in your life that judge you. That's why you have people in your life that judge you because you're still judging yourself. Okay, if I accept who I am and the way that I'm wired and you don't like that and you try to change me, you're judging me, okay? I don't want you in my life because I'm not judging myself. This is the way that I am. So sometimes you won't find out that someone's been judging you until you get honest because the part of you that was dishonest was you judging yourself. You were making yourself feel guilty you were making yourself feel wrong for having your feelings, but you weren't speaking up. And then when you finally speak up, you find out they were judging you because you were judging yourself the whole time. You weren't being honest with them and you weren't being honest with yourself. So share your feelings. Don't be afraid. There's no need to complicate things, okay? If you want something, say it. If you don't like something, say it. This is what we're here to learn on this planet. You're learning how to create your life as you go. You're learning how to direct your energy in such a way that the experience that you want to be in is happening. I don't need to be in your experience if I know what I want to experience, right? I don't need to be in, I don't need to take on your stuff if I've been there. I don't need to. I know what kind of life I'm, I wanna have. I know what I'm aspiring to. So I know what I need to do to get there. And that's gonna take a lot of work. So I might as well start now. Stop creating delays for yourself. You really need to stop doing that. You need to love yourself enough to say, I will speak my truth now because then all of me is at the party. If half of you is at the party, where does the other half go? Somewhere in the future, nothing changes between now and then. Nothing changes. You think it changes because it's gone away temporarily. It's gonna come back. It has to. Because you, deep down, wanna become the best version of yourself, the most authentic version of yourself. So if you want all the things that you say you want, start being all of you now. Bring all of you to the party. I hope that helps you. Take care.